There are many people out there that will argue as to what makes an amazing bagel, but here's a technique so you can have a go at home. The bagel likely got its roots somewhere in Poland like four to 500 years ago and were believed to be derived from the pretzel of Germany. The word bagel comes from the word bugel in German as they look like a horse's stirrup, but the traditional hole in the bagel may have come about when Jews tried to differentiate their bread from traditional Christian bread. Cutting a long story short, Poland was one of the only countries that Jews were safe from the hardship and discrimination from the rest of the world and were actually allowed to bake unlike in other countries as bread was seen as a holy Christian food. And because of the poverty at the time, many people took to selling them on the streets of Poland and over time they became a symbol of a safe place to converse in Poland, just like our modern day cafes. Jews brought bagels over to New York and even though the recipe has changed over time to be sweeter, crunchier or chewier and have been adapted into classic New York food, they are still associated with the Jewish community. Let's start with blooming our yeast. So into 400 milliliters of water at about 32 degrees, you want to pour one packet or 11 grams of dry active yeast and 30 grams of white sugar. Then give it a little stir and leave it to the side for 10 minutes to become all frothy. Then into a stand mixer, measure 560 grams of bread flour or any flour with a high gluten content and add six grams of salt. Then once the yeast mixture has woken up, pour it into the stand mixer too and mix on a medium speed until you see the dough start to come together. You wanna keep kneading the dough in the machine for about 20 minutes until it becomes nice and smooth. I'm just gonna give it a little knead by hand as well as you've gotta love the feel of fresh dough between your fingers. And I also need to shape it into a rough ball. Oil a bowl and place the dough into proof for one hour. After one hour, you can see it's doubled in size. So knock the air out of it and prise it out of the bowl. Give it another knead for one minute and then cut it into eight equal portions. Then using the palm of your hand, slightly squash it against the table. Then bring your fingers into a claw shape, letting a ball form under your hand, using the stickiness of the dough to make it smooth. Then there are two ways generally to form bagels. The first is to punch a hole in the middle and then rolling it around two fingers until you get a good size hole and the other is to roll the ball into a sausage shape until you get a nice thickness and then wrap it around your hand and fasten it against the table by rolling it again. I preferred the punch a hole method but I know that professional bagel makers use the sausage way. Make sure you leave a big enough hole as they will expand when proofed and don't worry if they all look slightly different, they are homemade after all. So throw a cloth over them and leave them to proof for another 30 minutes while we make the everything bagel seasoning of white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, garlic powder, dried thyme, onion flakes, sea salt and black pepper. Then mix that together with tiny whisk. Then we have to ready our water as we're going to boil these bagels before we bake them. So into the water, pour a decent amount of molasses, treacle or some form of syrup, followed by a teaspoon of baking powder and some salt. Then once the bagels have doubled in size, drop them into the water only a few at a time so they have enough room to move and boil them on each side for 45 to 60 seconds. Make sure the water is fully boiling though as I made this mistake here. This is going to help develop the crust of the bagel. You can also see they have gone all wrinkly like when you spend too long in a bath but don't worry it all adds to the texture. I also only cooked six bagels and left two in the fridge to cook tomorrow. Apparently it develops a richer flavour and I wanted to test it. But with these ones I lightly brushed them with olive oil and scattered over the seasoning then place them in an oven set to 200 for 15 minutes or until looking like this. I'll admit they weren't as dark in colour as I would have liked. This is due to the water not boiling sufficiently and my oven temp was too low. Make sure you get yours up really hot, about 230 degrees should do the trick. They still tasted amazing and held a pretty good shape for my first time, but you live and learn. The inside was nice and soft and chewy too, so I decided to make a cheeky butty while it was still warm with a bit of butter, cream cheese, ham, tomato, lettuce, mayo and it was really really good. The bagel had great flavour and was soft and chewy at the same time, but lacking just in the crust. So the next day I did the same with the leftover bagels, but I made sure my water was boiling and I used egg wash instead of olive oil. And these ones turned out better, with a bit more colour. And I gotta be honest, they did have a richer taste. So if you have the patience, try to make them the day before and let them age in the fridge. But these are definitely worth giving a try because we don't all live in New York. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, do all that stuff. And remember to just keep cooking.